Hey guys, so this is number 25, Age of Deception. It was given on 11, 21, 23. Um, it starts with three verses. So Jeremiah 9, 6, your dwelling place is in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Ephesians 4, 27, and do not give the devil a foothold. James 4, 7, therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So let's get started. Deception. The age you are in today is the age of deception. You try not to take it in and it is still given to you unwillingly. Pray for discernment. Pray to see the world and its events through my eyes with my wisdom. I will grant my wisdom to all who ask. Wisdom is what fuels discernment. Avoid media as much as possible. Many things appear to be real that are not. Some are deceptions with technology. Some are deceptions in war. Some are deceptions in lying. Some are deceptions in politics. Avoid. Pray over what your eyes see and your ears hear and ask that they be guarded from evil, darkness, wickedness, and deception. Focus on me. Read my words, sing my praises, be in joy as the world declines around you. This is wisdom. Those who drink of the deceptions will be confused and misled, and it will be very easy for these to believe of the false Messiah, even lifelong Christians. The deceptions are and will be so well crafted, the lies so close to the truth. The methods used preying on the way humans react. Stop, reorient, focus on me, leave it. Do not give the adversary a foothold to your mind or your soul. Stay very clear from all deception. This ended at 9.01 a.m. So 9.01 in the Hebrew is treacherous and it relates to Jeremiah 3. I would suggest you read that. It's very fitting. And then um, in the Greek, it means deep in the depths or in the early morning. Also to be profound. Here's the verses. Ephesians 5, 5 through 17. For this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, finding out what is acceptable to the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. For it is shameful to even speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore, he says, awake you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Walk in wisdom. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. 1 Corinthians three eighteen to 23 Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool, that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. Therefore, let no one boast in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world, or life or death, or things present or things to come, all are yours. And you are Christ's, and Christ is God's. That's it. I hope you find that um, encouraging, and I will see you next time.